In this lesson, we're going to take a look at how to save files to different types of media. So you have a lot of options when it comes to the different types of media you want to save it to, but the main thing you need to remember is what is the file size of the file that you're trying to save it to. So for instance, if you've got a Word document, that file size is going to be relatively small, so you would need a type of media such as a USB drive or a CD that um, that would have a decent amount of space but you don't need something that's uh, that's a large amount but if you were to save something like a, um, a full-length uh, video file saving it onto just a simple disk might not allow you enough room enough space so you have to make that decision prior to choosing a media but we're going to take a look at how to save a file to a CD so I've got a CDR that I'm going to place into my drive which is located on the um, typically on the front of your uh, machine very easily accessible and you want to be careful not to uh, not to scratch those and place them directly into the drive and once you do Windows 7 is smart enough to recognize that you have placed a CD into the drive that is blank and it's going to pop up something like this you're going to my drive is named a DVD RW drive E drive and it recognizes that I've got a CDR blank disk um, located inside of it. Now it also says always do this for blank disk. I don't necessarily want to select that but if I wanted to whatever option that I click here each time that I that I put it in a blank disk like that it would repeat that particular action. So I want to actually create I want to burn files to a disk. If you want to create a CD using iTunes you could do that or burn an audio CD burn particular files to a disk. So I'm going to click that option. When I click that option it takes a second and then it says how do you want to use this disk? You want a disk title first. So I'll just do uh, you know lesson plans here. And do I want to like a USB drive? Save, edit, delete files on the disk anytime. That sounds something that I would like. The disk will work on computers running XP or later. Or with a CD DVD player, burn files in groups or individuals files can't be edited or removed after burning. Um, I want to be able to access these files um, and basically use this like a USB drive so I can delete files, save them, edit them at my leisure um, anytime. So I'm going to select that option, click next, and when I click next it's going to format this um, particular disk. Formatting it is just preparing it uh, to be saved or preparing it to have items saved upon it. And when it's done formatting it here it's created a as it went ahead and lamed my disk here and it has import pictures and videos using Dropbox or open folder to view files using Windows Explorer. It's the one I want and I'm going to find the document that I created earlier so I believe it is my C drive and it's in computer classes that's the one that I want so I'm going to double click on that and double click on this particular file and double click make sure that's the one that I want and it is the one that I want so at this point I want to save this file to my um, my drive, my lesson plan drive. So I can very simply just click and drag this directly over to the DVD RW drive release and that copies it right over there and I close that and now what happens is that is located directly onto my disk LPIT 101. So now when I'm ready to basically stop saving or you know remove this desk disk I right click directly onto my drive and go to eject and it prepares to eject that particular disk 
uh, wait just a, uh, a few seconds and when that disk is burned and ready it will eject it from my drive and that's essentially has saved my file to that particular disk and this for kind of an older way to save files you can scratch a disk lose a disk what have you but they're very cheap and convenient to save um, multiple file types too so my disk has ejected I grab the disk typically I'd want to put it in some sort of uh, sleeve you can buy safety sleeves for those disks so you do not scratch them and then we're done and then you can give that disk to whoever needs it